Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we're going to be creating our uh, control or component that's going to show our web view. So let's go ahead and get started uh, within the view itself uh, or actually you can create a new uh, group I think uh, we call it components. Okay and this is where we're going to create our new file that's actually going to be handling our uh, web view related component. Okay, so we're going to simply create a Swift UI view and uh, I'm going to call this one Swift UI web view. And we're going to be using UI representable uh, protocol here uh, to see how you can convert basically a uh, UI kit view into a uh, Swift UI view. Okay, so we're going to import from foundation, import from Swift UI and import from WebKit, okay? Then we're gonna create our struct. This struct is gonna be um, inheriting from UI view representable. Now this protocol requires two functions to be uh, implemented and uh, before we write those or start those out we can actually write this and we're gonna say okay help us okay that's that's not the help we needed okay all right um, let's go ahead and create there are two functions that we need make UI view okay and uh, this some view is gonna be a WK web view okay and we're gonna say guard let URL is equal to URL from string that we have been passed during the initialization and we're gonna return this in return a if we don't have anything then we're gonna return an empty web view okay otherwise we're gonna create a request gonna create our web view and we're gonna say web view dot load request and we're gonna return this web view all right there's one more function that we need to override and nothing needs to be written over there it's simply gonna be this one right here all right so that is our <laughs> web view uh, believe it or not but this is it so now let's go back to our um to basically there's one more thing that we need to do we need to we need a view to show this web view right so we can go ahead and go to and go to our view and create a new swift UI view and we're going to call this news article view or web view okay and this is simply going to wrap our web view. So we're gonna get a news URL. Okay, and uh, whenever this is initialized, we're gonna say Swift UI web view, pass that news URL with padding dot top. 20 or you can put your own control you can have more padding and stuff like that I'm going to put this 20 padding so I can actually do swipe to um, dismiss uh, gesture okay um, yeah so this is it uh, for uh, this view now let's go back and see like you know where we are going to be calling this from so we are going to be calling this from our cell so whenever the cell is tapped that's when we actually gonna launch this so go to your cell and we've already created this is presented so we can actually observe the change for that one so we are simply going to say um, here sheet so we're gonna present this as a sheet and for sheet uh, there's a overload that takes is presented there we go this one and we're gonna supply our is presented so we're gonna provide a binding for is presented and uh, here we're gonna say um, 
we simply need content we don't need on dismiss we don't need to run any closure on dismiss so we are simply gonna say just present news article web view and here is the news URL like so okay and this is gonna happen on tap so we're gonna say on tap gesture self dot is presented dot toggle so we're gonna toggle that so basically basically initially it's a it's false and then uh, when we toggle uh, it's gonna be true so it's, our view is gonna be presented when we dismiss uh, we automatically get our uh, article to be like or is presented to be false so we can present the new one okay so let's go ahead and run this and um, hopefully everything is gonna be okay so let's click on that and uh, there we go we have our new article being presented and uh, there's another one and uh, let's go ahead and scroll let's take a look at ps4 or ps5 okay and there we go you can swipe to dismiss all right so yeah so um so this is it for uh this entire series uh and hopefully you guys enjoyed uh basically learning how you can create mvvm based news app and you probably saw like you know how we created the entire um entire structure like entire app without touching the ui like and at the very end we actually touch the ui this shows you like you know that how you can actually create the separation of concern like you know you can actually totally um go back and change this to a different source and bring your data from a different source and and basically cast it uh into a different sort of news article uh, this is independent to that your view models are independent uh, from your news view so you can have anything in here that can actually represent your news and then you can do some more processing in that news and then uh, later on uh, when you need to change it you can change it independent of like you know what you need to change it here and all you need to do here is basically change your um, or get your mapping correct and then your model to view model interaction is actually um, um, I mean, all it's doing is basically referencing this. So as long as these property name the names are changing, you really don't have to change anything else. Okay, so as you can see, like you know, MVVM gives you this ability to create uh, highly um, flexible and um, uh, independent pieces of code that can be swapped, uh, like you know, without breaking anything or without changing much of the things around so that's actually the benefit and then last but not the least is your view that's actually swift ui in this case but you can very well use a storyboard and apply the same principle over there okay so hopefully you guys loved this series and uh, and uh, i would really appreciate some feedback so uh, thank you so much for watching this series and i will see you guys in uh, next series of uh, next series of videos okay so thanks again